I was hoping I wouldn't have to make this. This is a ridiculous video. So Vox and a bunch of other websites have made this assertion that color film was made for white people, early color film in specific. For many decades, chemicals that would bring out various reddish, yellow, and brown tones were largely left out. Early color film was not made for white people. They used the existence of something called the Shirley card. This is a Shirley card. To try and say that film was optimized for white skin. That is not how it worked. Early film had a dynamic range of about six or seven stops. Film today has a dynamic range of about 13. The camera you're looking at me on now has about 10 or 11 stops worth of dynamic range when exposed properly. I'm going to simulate the dynamic range of early film and show you exactly why film back in the day was designed not for white skin tones, but for mid-tones. With proper exposure, white skin tones would be closer to mid-tones, but dark skin tones would be closer to shadows. As the film and television industries became more diverse, color balance issues at the professional level became even more apparent. And in the 1990s, a team of designers at Philips and Breda Holland tackled the issue head on by developing a camera system that used two different computer chips to balance lighter and darker skin tones individually. Early film was notoriously insensitive. This is being shot at ISO 3200. You'll notice that the window is pretty heavily blown out. You can barely see some of the blind detail. My screens are pretty blown out. But my face, or at least the parts of it that you can see, are pretty well exposed. This brown hat, well the parts that the light is shining directly on, those parts, those are fine. But look here, what's this? Oh, it's not exposed very well, is it? What would that look like on old film? Garbage. So, to illustrate this problem, I also have this box. This is a white priority mailbox. Can you see the detail in the cardboard? You probably can. Even in the spots that are shaded pretty heavily, you probably can see the detail in the cardboard. This is a low pro camera bag, which I will hold up a little closer so you can see it a little better. This camera bag, can you see the detail? Can you see it with the light shining directly on it? Okay. Now, what happens when I turn it away? What would this look like if this picture of me gleefully holding up this camera bag was on old Kodachrome ISO 25 six to seven stop dynamic range film? Probably not very good. So when it came to defining what an idealized international skin tone would be, it, it turned out to be a lighter skin tone than a darker skin tone. If you're shooting people with lighter skins, it looks good. If you're shooting people with darker skins, it doesn't look so good. If you're shooting mixed race in the same screen, then we see the real problems. Look, 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 do I really have to explain this? You people are basically arguing that light is racist. Think about how dumb this sounds. Here, okay, this is exposed at ISO 3200. Hello, what's this? ISO 3200, 16, 8, 4, oh, it doesn't even go to 100, I'm sorry. Okay. This is four times brighter than original Kodachrome film. Do you see why it's difficult to expose for black skin instead of white skin on early film? Oh, bring this back up. Whenever you see a headline like, color film was made for white people, consider the fact that it was difficult in early color film to get a good image at all. And since color film was early in its development, the skin tone reproduction was not there compared to what we have today. Film isn't racist, light is racist. If you don't like that, go somewhere where the laws of physics don't apply. Oh wait, that doesn't exist. Technology should be the ultimate equalizer. It should serve everyone's needs without an inherent bias. If a child is 
born into a society where all of the range of skin tones is the obvious norm, then they can no longer assume that whiteness is default. Vox saying that color film is racist against black people is dishonest at best and malicious at worst. It's race baiting, it's clickbait, and it's bullshit. Learn to use that critical thinker in your noggin.